My name is Ben Spieldunner. I'm a Minecraft Global Mentor, and today I'm going to walk you through how to successfully create a multiplayer world from both a teacher and student perspective. First, we'll start with teacher perspective. As a teacher, you're going to open Minecraft Education Edition. You're going to click on Play. We're going to go to Create New because we want to create a new world, and we're going to go to Generate Random. Now, we're going to look specifically on the Multiplayer tab. When you click on that, you'll notice two things. One is Multiplayer Game, which is already turned on, and Visible to Lay-In Players, which is also turned on. Multiplayer game simply means that the world you're creating can be accessed by students, and visible to land players means that your world can be seen by students under their friends tab. And in just a minute, I'll explain to you what that means. Now, if both of these are on, which they are by default, then I can click play, and it should generate my world that I want my students to be able to play in. And it's going to spawn me into this world, or I'm going to um, go ahead and show up in this world. Now, if for some reason my server did not show up on my student's friends tab, the other option I have is to click escape and I can look up here, I can see the IP address up in the upper right hand corner, and I can write that down on the board, I can give that to students, and they can join my world by using an IP address. Now, we've successfully completed the teacher side of this, but I want to walk you through the student side, so that way you can tell your students exactly how to access your multiplayer world. I'm now signed into Minecraft Education Edition as a student, and you'll see the startup screen is no different. Once again, I'm going to click on Play, and instead of creating a world, I'm going to join a world. So there's two ways I can do this. I can go to my Friends tab, which I had already talked about, and I can see here that it looks like there's a LAN game. It shows the name of the teacher, which is my name, and it shows the name of the world, which is Teacher World. I'm going to click on that world, and when I click on that world, I should spawn directly in that world. Now look, there I am, all right? Now, what you may discover is when you spawn into a world, you may spawn in something that lo looks like this, all right? And oftentimes, if you have multiple students join one world, they'll spawn on top of each other. Uh, and and what, what you'll see is you'll see their character or pieces of their character. You have to simply have your students walk forward, uh, and then they'll be able to walk outside of that character. Okay, so that's one way I can join the world. Now, if for some reason I go to my friends tab and I don't see this LAN game, I don't see anything there at all, I can also join by using an IP address. Now, I've already gone through and recorded what the IP address is of the machine that I would like to be able to join. And you can do this by giving this IP address to your students either on the board or on a sheet of paper. Um, and I click play and I join the same server. Two different ways to join the same game. Now, one last thing I want to show you. If you'd like to have students collaborate with one another and not just join a teacher world, you can have students create a world and make their world multiplayer just the way a teacher did. So I'm going to go to create new. Once again, I'm in the student account, generate random. Go down to multiplayer, and the default is multiplayer game, visible to land players. I click play, and once again, uh, it'll generate a world, and the world will be able to be accessed by any other student in that class as well. So you may have students in small groups that you want to work in the same world, instead of having the entire class join one world that you've created. Thanks a lot for watching.